We want to factor this completely, which means first we need to factor out the greatest common factor, which is 2. If we divide 2 out of the first term, we get 6x squared. Out of the middle, we're left with 17x. And out of the last term, we're left with 5. Now we count the terms. There's three terms, so we need to try to factor this as a trinomial, break it down into its two factors. We know we have an x in the first term. We know both sides are the same, so they must both be negatives. We know the last terms can only be 5 and 1, or 1 and 5. But the first terms, we might try 3 with 2, or we might try 6 with 1. So if we try this combination here, we get negative 10 in the middle and negative 3 on the outside. That's negative 13. That doesn't work. So we could try changing. The 5 with the 1 didn't work, so we could try the 1 with the 5. That gives us negative 2x in the middle, negative 15x on the outside, which is negative 17x. So our first factor is 2, our second factor is 3x minus 1, and our third factor is 2x minus 5. None of those can be broken down any further.